Hi everyone, my name is Ivy and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa Feb Ibig! Oh. Since it's February month of love, we are gonna talk about how to move on from a long-term relationship after breakup. So this video, disclaimer lang po ha, this video is based on my own experience and some of my friends' experiences about love. Nagsisinungaling ba siya lagi sa'yo? Hindi nagpapaalam. Laging may excuse. Kasi, oh, kasi si friend ko ganito, si friend ko ganyan, si friend ko ganyan. Pag feeling mo at nararamdaman mo na may something wrong, follow your gut, girl. Follow your instinct. Kasi minsan, for most of the time, tama siya. So, yes, this is gonna be a story time. And this video is for the people or for all, all of my friends right here that is struggling on moving on from their uh, past relationship. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and the notification bell para pag mayroon kang bagong video, manonotify ka. Bagong lahat! Intro, pasok! So, ayun na nga. Paano nga ba mag-move on kapag nagkasama kayo ng 4 years, nagkasama kayo ng 3 years, 2 years, <clears throat> 1 year, name it. Paano nga ba mag-move on? Ang hirap ng tanong, di ba? Ang dami-daming ideas kung paano mag-move on. Kung papakinggan mo yung question, parang madali lang siyang gawin. But, kapag ikaw yung nasa situation, feeling mo katapusan na ng mundo, feeling mo yung hindi ka makakain, pakaramdam mo walang nagmamahal sa'yo, at lagi mong tatanungin ang sarili mo, bakit nangyari sa akin to? Bakit sa akin pa? Ang dami-dami namang tao, bakit ako pa? Ginawa ko naman ang lahat. Binigay ko naman ang lahat. Pero hindi pa rin sapat. Iyan ang tanong na hirap na hirap akong sagutin. Kasi may mga tao talaga na hindi marunong makontento. May mga tao talagang komportable na sa'yo, kaya okay lang na gawin na nila kung ano yung gusto nila. Kasi kapag paulit-ulit-ulit mo silang pinapatawan, paulit-ulit-ulit silang gagawa ng mali. These the tips that I'm gonna give you is based on my very own personal experience. How unfortunate, but guys, you know, things happen for a reason. So, my tip number one. This is the very important tip that you guys need to learn. Self-love. Bago ang lahat, bago ka magmahal ng ibang tao, mahalin mo muna ang sarili mo. Bakit? Kasi, hindi mo ibibigay yung 100% mo sa ibang tao kung hindi mo nga kayang mahalin ang sarili mo. Yes, because what happened to me before is, minigay ko ang lahat sa kanya, my 101%, name it, Material things, money, everything else. Binigay ko ang lahat. Hindi pa rin ako sapat. Ano na tira sa sarili ko? Wala. Nothing. But, guys, you know what? You can only learn from your own experience. Because a lot of people are telling me before that, hey, you know, before you love somebody else but make sure that you love yourself first and invest on yourself but did i listen nope hindi po ako nakinig kasi nga 
Mahal mo eh. Bulag ka. So, wala nangyari. Di ba? So, yeah. Very important thing to do is self-love. Mahalin niyo po muna yung sarili niyo bago kayo magmahal ng iba. Because when the time comes, nasasabihin niya sa'yo na, you know what? I don't think this is gonna work. You know what? Ayoko na. At least, kahit na iwan ka niya, it's fine. Like, masasaktan ka, yes. But it's okay. Because you still have yourself, your friends, and your family that's gonna love you. Tip number two. It doesn't matter how long you guys have been together. At napatunayan ko na po yan. It doesn't matter. Why? So, uh, this guy that I dated for five years, in that entire year, I always beg for love. First year relationship, nung nandiligaw pa lang siya sa akin, of course, he loves me. He loves me so much. But when, you know, when the legal process, di ba? Diligawan ka niya, magpaghihirapan niya yung yes mo, and then, ikaw naman itong, syempre, hindi naman basta-basta, di ba? I-observe mo muna siya kung talaga bang genuine yung pagmamahal niya sa'yo. Kapag sinabi mo na yes, we're now dating each other. Kapag sinabi mo na yan, at na-in love ka na, na-fall in love ka na, mas mahal mo na siya, kesa mas mahal ka niya. You know, when you love him more than he loves you, dun na mag-e-start na mag-change yung, yung relationship. Based on my own experience, five years, I always beg. I always beg for love. I always beg for roses. I'm not into material things. Disclaimer guys, if you don't have money to buy something, it's okay. Let your partner know that, hey, I don't have enough money to buy you this. Can we just hang out, make food inside the house? Because February 14 is it's just a regular day for me. Important events in my life, like, please appreciate me. Because I work hard for this and I want you to be the first person to appreciate all I did. Lagi akong ano, lagi ako nagagalit kasi ultimo, just, just, just a piece, just one rose is enough for me. I don't need a bouquet or, or just pick a flower over, or, over your neighbor, your neighbor. Just pick something. I don't care if you bought it or what, just pick something, even if it's free, just to appreciate me. But nope, I always beg for that. But when it comes to him, all the important occasions of his life, important events of his life, I was always there supporting him. I gave him everything. So, but here in my um, present relationship, guys, I am reiterating it once again. It doesn't matter how long you guys have been together. What matters is the effort that you guys give to each other. Because it's not always, you know, give and give and give. It's always about give and take. Because a give and take relationship is a very healthy relationship. So this guy that I'm dating right now, we have been dating for almost two years. And never once did I ask. He always initiated like he knows because you know guys if a person really loves you they know how to take care of you every small accomplishment in my life he makes sure that he's always there for me so when i always work and i have one day off kapag alam niyo pagod na pagod ako pupunta yan sa store sasabihin niya sa akin na may bibili lang daw siya tapos pag babalik na siya I have a bouquet of flowers. Like, I never asked for that. And then you know what he, what he tells me? You work hard and you deserve this. Yes. He always do that. He gives me flowers or he, ta he makes me food. He prepares my lunch for work. Especially when I work at 6 a.m. 
gigising niya ng 5.30, magluluto ng food ko. And he makes sure that I have to eat food. I started my own business. And um, I never expected this. But he went and got bread at the store. And we, when he came back, I got a bouquet of flowers and a card and a little stuffed animal. And in the card it says, I am so proud of you. I am so proud of all your achievements. And I'm always here to support you. You know, yung mga ganung bagay, mga simpleng bagay na hindi mo dapat ina-ask. So that this guy, not once I asked him to do all the stuff that he's doing for me. But my previous relationship, it was really toxic. Um, like I always ask for it and I even get upset if he doesn't do it, which is not okay. Because if your partner can't do it, because he doesn't have the means to do it, then you girls, you're not allowed to be upset or mad or angry. Just because a social media tells you, hey, February 14 ngayon, kailangan natin bilhan ng roses yung, yung partner mo, kasi nga, para may maipost sa Facebook, no, no, no. We don't do that. Girls, we don't do that. Whatever your partner can do for you, appreciate it materialistic so yeah it doesn't matter how long you guys have been together what matters is what you both are putting into the relationship to work yes so yeah this is a flower he gave this to me it was a random day bumisita ako sa bahay niya and then pagising ko may flower na sa bed and this flower kasi ano my period at ako nun. He bought me this, a heating pad, uh, chocolate or candies, and this flower to make me feel better. Pwede ba mga ganyang bagay? And this was my birthday. This one is when I started my own business. See? I told you guys, don't tell your man what to do. Okay? So, tip number three, Kung fresh pa yung breakup, this is just me. So I deleted everything that we have. Pictures, videos. Para kapag mag scroll ka ng phone mo, or ng Facebook mo, or ng social media mo, wala ka na makikita. But other people, they like to keep memories. So, and I respect that. And this is just me. It's easier for me to move on if I don't see all those stuff. And it's easier for me to forget kapag, kapag yung pinagsamahan namin is wala na. And yes, it made, me, it made me forget so easy. And tip number four. Make sure to surround yourself with people that loves you. Surround yourself with your friends, your family, and surround yourself with positivity. Kasi mas maigi at mas madaling mag-move on kapag ganun. Tip number five. Kung fresh pa lang yung breakup, embrace it. Cry if you wanna cry. Drink if you wanna drink. Kasi sinong magsasabing hindi sa'yo? Nobody else. Do whatever you want. Kung gusto mong magpakasawa sa alak, go! Kung gusto mong umiyak ng umiyak ng umiyak hanggang wala ng luhang pumapatak sa yung mata, go do it. If that will make you feel better, do it. Cause time will come. Nagigising ka na lang and one day you'll be like, I feel better. I feel so much better. But it takes time. Alright, and for the last tip that I'm gonna give you guys. So it was easier for me to move on because I moved here in the States when he was back home in the Philippines. I think because it was like a thousand miles away and I don't see him often. I don't see him every time and he's not here physically. Kaya mas madali lang mag move on para sa akin. By the time na nakipag-break ako sa kanya, 
pagod na pagod na ako. Sawang-sawa na ako. Hindi ko na kayang magpatawan. It's so hard to because I'm in the States. I'm thousand miles away from my family and I don't really have a good support system here because I only have my aunt and my um, Lola. So I just moved here like I guess probably six months nung nakipag-break ako sa kanya. So it's really hard for me but kinaya ko. Kinaya ko. I do not want to say it's a blessing in disguise because I think it mean to say that but I think it was just it was the right time to let go because when you're done you're done one day gumising ako or nagising ako na I, I can't feel anything anymore but guys I tried though like I tried to to uh, fix it again but I just couldn't feel anything anymore. So, but now with my present relationship, I am 100% happier. More than happier because I never ask for something. He always do stuff for me and I do stuff for him. It's, it's a really healthy relationship and we keep it low key. You know, we like to keep it low key. That's how I move on from a long term relationship after a breakup. Also, I forgot to mention you have self-love, but what comes to self-love is acceptance. You need to accept that it's over. Tapos na, wala na, wala na kami, tapos na kami. Rest will follow. Madali na lang sa'yo mag-move on. And most importantly, guys, if you think you are not loved, yes you are. You have your friends and your family and that is just one guy. And there's a billions of guys around the world and you will never know who's meant for you. It's not easy and I understand. Hindi po madaling mo move on. Embrace it. Cuz give yourself time. Hindi hindi naman yung yung one month pa lang okay ka na din. But give yourself time to process everything. And if you feel like you're ready to be in a relationship again, then go. But if you feel like you want to be single for a while, then do it. It's not gonna hurt. So yes, for all those couples in here that is in a healthy relationship, I am happy for you guys and I'm happy for myself too because I belong to the population. Happy Feb Ibig Po Sa Lahat. Stay in love. And I hope you guys learned something from my experience and from all the tips that I gave you. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. You're beautiful. You're smart. And if you're going through this, I believe in you. You can do it. I did it, so you can do it. So, ayun na guys. Happy Feb Ibig sa inyong lahat. At happy Feb Ibig sa ating lahat. Happy Valentine's Day and you guys keep the fire burning and keep in love. Alright, um, if you do like this video, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. You guys have a wonderful day and...